All right, guys, I've been shopping on eBay again with my favorite Bulgarian lock dealer. You can see that this is an LZ. I'll try to get the reflection right. And I think the model name is Seclox. I'm really not sure. Model number here is on the other side. It is a 2048 and then 45 millimeter. These Ezlets are really cool little locks. Uh, very simple in design. You'll notice this weird shape, like a, like almost like a bowling pin with an eyeball, but that's near there and there. Solid brass. There's nothing over here except the hole that the shackle goes into. And then over here, we have the lock cylinder itself. Now, this dealer, I got to say, I need to change usernames because every time I order from this guy, I think, he, I know, there's no question, he has to handpick these. This is a five pin lock. So you can see four there, but it looks like this last one is like right there. Just barely clipped the top of that key. But nevertheless, pretty challenging. When you open these, you slide it in 90 degrees, and it pops out. Now, when you see that cut out, you think, wow, well, let's just shim that bad boy. But with these Elzits, you notice how that mechanical block is attached to the actuator. So when we rotate the key there, it would positively slide into that groove and lock this bad boy up. There's no shimming going to occur on this lock. So we're just going to have to pick it. All right, it is a Yale keyway. A nice little tight keyway. Got some good paracentric action going there. I really can't use the bottom of that keyway. So see if this is the right size. I'm going to use bottom of the keyway. The reason I can't use any uh, the bottom is because there's that piece of warding that anything trying to attack from the bottom is going to hit that warding. So I might as well fill it up with a tensioner. That's probably going to be okay. I'll try that one. And I'll pick this by hand, not use the vise. And let me grab a pick here. I have had a peek at this key. We know there's going to be a lot of highs and lows. I would probably grab the deepest hook that I could possibly fit inside of here anyway. And it's going to have to be in 15 thousandths to get around that corner. So either the deep or the medium hook from my SS dev. And this is the medium hook. I'll slide them all the way in. Some light tension. I'll tell you what, let me put a mark on here too. See if I can find a decent marker. That ought to do it. Just in case we get a fault set. I think you can see that. All right, all the way in. That medium really has to fight his way in there. All right, light tension. And let's see what we got here. Number two is a binder. The thing about the nice, oops, there we go. That was number five. I got a little bit of a false set going. Matter of fact, that's a pretty good false set. Anytime you use one of these SS devs or any real thin profile pick, they're weak in terms of strength. You really can't pry them or you're probably going to bend that tip. And you can see this one's been bent a couple of times. I just get a pair of pliers to straighten it back out. But you really have to be delicate with these. And so when you find yourself with a security pin, like I'm sure we're going to find here in a minute, because you don't get a deep fault set like that on standard pins. There it is right there. Notice how we got counter rotation. And that tells me it's a spool. So rather than force him with the tip of that pick, I'm going to just apply steady pressure and release tension on my tensioner till I get him set. Just like that. We've lost the fault set, unfortunately. There it is. Okay, so it was number five again, and I got a deeper fault set. Keep looking. Because you know we're looking for another spool, and there he is. Pin number one. Steady pressure with the pick, and there we go. Come out of there. Well, I said we definitely had an open. Maybe we didn't turn it quite far enough. That's it. It's got to be turned full 90 in order to disengage that positive actuator. Very cool little lock. I really like it. I especially like the fact that they used a paracentric keyway and they put some security pins in it. So well thought out for, you know, locking up your shed or your kid's tricycle or maybe your beach shoes. This would be a great little lock. The, the Eslet Seclox 2048-45. Appreciate your time, guys. Stay safe. Stay legal. I'll put the link to my Bulgarian lock. The least I can do is try to send some business his way. He does a great job of picking out 
If he knows you're a lock picker, he does a great job of picking out some extreme bidding for you. Thanks, guys. If you like what Lock Lab's doing, you can really help me out by subscribing, hitting the like button, and of course sharing it on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks, guys.